Yeah, but I think that's just part of the humor, right? Like if Jughead ate that much and then got obese and died from diabetes, it probably wouldn't be a very popular comic. I don't know. Anyway, listen, I have to go. Yeah, I'm trying to get people to stop stealing from me. I heard a joke the other day. What do you get when you cross a dirty pirate with a thief? Society. It's getting harder and harder for professionals like myself to keep ahead of the curve when it comes to illegal downloading and pirating of movies and television. But the saddest part is that it's not just famous people being affected, it's normal people too. When you download my TV show or buy a bootleg copy, you're just selling yourself short with a bad imitation instead of the real deal. This is a bootleg copy of my DVD that I found in Chinatown while shopping for porno. Let's take a look at a scene so you can tell the difference between my actual show and a bootleg. Welcome to the show. Now notice how the quality of the bootleg seems to be slightly different from my show. For instance, they are using a stuffed animal instead of a real dog. I can read uh, subtitles, you idiot. And they still have the date on the lower right-hand side of the screen. On our show, we remove that before every episode goes to broadcast. <clears throat> Depressed, so what can I do? Here it becomes obvious that they only had one light for their interview segment. It's only by taking positive actions to improve your life. And in this scene, they have substituted some pieces of string for vomit. The bootleggers have become so good at copying me, it's almost impossible for the show to stay ahead. The bootleggers have become so good at copying me, it's almost impossible for the show to stay ahead. We just... So remember, you wouldn't steal a baby, or a car, or a moment, or a kiss. So think of my show as that moment when a car kisses a baby. Don't steal that. Thank you. <laughs>